Hello and welcome to this video about key value extraction in FSOF Transact. In this video, we will cover the key value extraction, extraction creation screen, how to adjust the key value, key and value boxes, most of the options for fine tuning the extraction rule, and a few helpful hints for dealing with some tricky situations. I'm currently in batch class management with an index field selected, in this case, invoice date, for my invoice document type. From here, I can select Add, and I will be taken to the key value extraction rule creation and editing screen. The first thing I always like to do on this screen is upload a sample document. You can either drag a PDF or TIFF into this bottom box, or you can select the Select Files link and open your sample that way. Once your sample is uploaded, you'll see the document appear, as well as green, a green and red box. The green box is for our key, and the red box is for our value. These boxes can be dragged around and resized according to your needs. In this example, we're looking to extract the invoice date. So I will drag the green box over the date label and resize accordingly. The size of your box doesn't need to be perfect, but I do like to get the top left of the box to the top left of the word for the key box. We'll do the same thing for the value. We'll drag it over the date and resize. For the value, if there's some space, I do like to to leave a little bit of space around the value in case the value moves slightly or expands in other variations. The interesting thing about how these boxes work is that it doesn't matter where on the page we find a match for date and a date value. What matters is that they relate to each other the way these boxes do. So in this case, if we find the word date and we find a matching date value right next to it, to the right, then our rule will be successful. We'll see later that this can come back to bite us in this example because we have another date word down here with the date value next to it. But I'll cover more on that in a minute. For now, let's turn our attention over here to the left-hand panel, and we'll see our options for the ex this extraction rule. I'll first focus on this key box. In this box, we put a regular expression that matches our key value. So in this case, date with a capital D followed by colon. The value box works much in the same way, but it's a regular expression that matches our date value. I could write a really long date regular expression with all the month abbreviations, but I'm just going to write a really simple regular expression for now. After you've got your key and value regular expressions, you'll notice that they turn red as well as the validate regex button. After I've put in these, these values, I like to go ahead and validate my regex patterns just to make sure they are good. You will have to validate before you are able to apply. Next, we have this fuzzy percent box with values none, 10%, 20%, and 30%. If the value is none, then this key works as a normal regular expression. If it's another value, then this key is no longer a regular expression and is becomes a literal string. But with the fuzzy, fuzzy percent on, if there's a mistake in the OCR and we find something different, this allows up to 10% of the characters to be wrong. Um, date is not long enough for if one character is incorrect, that would be 20%. So if we were to switch this to 20% and one of the characters was wrong, the date key would still match. Next we have fetch, and the options are all first and last. And how this works is a little weird, and it's hard to describe, so I'll just show you an example. 
I'm going to go ahead and switch this to first. And as I mentioned earlier, if we test this key value extraction, we should match both these dates. With this fetch switched over to first, it's not the first date that we'll match. We'll still match both dates, but the first match of the regular expression pattern for each of these dates will be our value. And as you may have noticed, I did not put a space in this value regular expression. So with fetch first, I expect us to only match uh, the date, or I mean the month value of each date. And if I go ahead and hit the test button, that's exactly what happens. We get December and January. If I were to switch this to last, we would only match the years. And if I switch this back to all and retest, we match the entire date. Note that Transact automatically puts spaces between each match, so these values are correct. Next we have page with the options all, first, and last, and this works exactly how you think it should. Um, if it's set to all, we look on all pages for matches for our key and value. If it's first, we only look for matches on the first page. If it's last, we only look for matches on the last page. Zone also works exactly how you'd think. We have all, which will look on the entire page. Top, which will look at the top one third vertically. Left, which looks at the left half of the page. Right, which looks at the right half of the page. Middle, which looks at the middle third of the page vertically. And then bottom, which looks at the bottom third of the page. Then finally, we have weight. How this weight value works is Every time we extract a value, we get a confidence score back from the OCR engine with how confident it is that the value it's given us is has been correctly read. This value can range from 0 to 100%. We then multiply that value by the weight to give us the final confidence score. You can lower this weight um, on generic rules and then if you have more specific rules that only match specific invoices, you can give them a higher weight and they will take higher priority than those generic rules. If I go back to these dates, however, in our case, we only want to match this first date and not both dates. So how are we going to do that? We've got two options. In our key regular expression, we can write a negative look look behind so that we only match date if it's not preceded by due. If I go ahead and test that, it helps to get the regular expression correct. We only match the first date now. Another more simple option is to switch to a different key. So instead of using the word date, we can key off of payment terms. And then we just get the first date. That concludes this video on key value extraction. We covered the key value extraction creation screen, how to adjust key and value boxes, the options included for fine-tuning the extraction, and we showed you a few helpful hints for tricky situations. Thanks for watching.